So you designed a web page in Adobe Muse and you put a slideshow at the top creating a beautiful image cycler. And if I preview this in the browser, good job, looks good. But if we make the browser a little wider, we see the edges of it, which is really unfortunate if you've designed something to really be a 100% page width website here where I've got these colored bars going all the way across. Well, in this case, I've got black and I've got gray, not really colors so much, but I do wish this ran all the way across. And unfortunately, Muse does not let me set a slideshow as a 100% page width object that scales with the browser. So what some have done is pretty close to correct. They've made the slideshow bigger you've made it wider and by making it wider it therefore goes off of both edges of the screen and if I preview this in the browser in my browser it looks like problem solved right I can make this smaller I can make this bigger all as well it goes all the way across looks great but you'll notice toward the bottom here that I do have a horizontal scroll bar because this counts as content and this content goes all the way over to here that's not cool. That's not okay. If my navigation at the top weren't pinned, that would be sliding to the left along with the text down here, which is not cool. So how do I get my browser to ignore the fact that this is wider than the viewable area to get rid of that horizontal scroll bar and just to make this work as a 100% page width slideshow? It is way easier than you'd think. If I go back to Muse and I select my slideshow, which has intentionally been designed to go across even a pretty wide computer monitor here. Uh, let's see, I designed this at 2,020 pixels wide. That's an arbitrary number, but uh, you get the point. If you make it big enough, you won't be able to see the edges of it, right? All we have to do is get this selected and head over to the scroll effects panel. Uh, you'll have the scroll effects panel if you're on the most up-to-date version of Muse. It will be under effects at the top of the screen if you are not up-to-date. But assuming you're up-to-date, locate this a scroll, the scroll effects panel. And if you don't see it, uh, you can go to window here and under window, uh, click on scroll effects. If I turn on scroll motion, the key position really doesn't matter so much for this, but I'm just going to set it at zero. And then you set... 1 and 0 as the scroll speed, meaning scroll vertically is at a speed of 1, which is the normal scroll speed, and scroll horizontally not at all. That's what the 0 represents. You can just click here on this lock. Let me zoom in here so it's a little easier to see. You can click here on this lock to make this match before and after the key position. So essentially what we're saying is we want this to scroll at a normal speed, and we want it to stay scrolling at a normal speed. And you might be thinking, okay, it already does scroll at a normal speed. Why use the scroll motion to make this scroll at a normal speed of one with no special animation to it whatsoever? And the reason is, oddly enough, if you go through and you turn on scroll motion and you just set the key position to zero, you set the vertical scroll to one to scroll at a normal speed and to not scroll sideways at all, what you're effectively doing is you're getting the browser to ignore how wide this is. So if I go and I preview this in my browser again, even though this is way wider than the browser window, look at that. I have no vertical scroll bar. It also didn't pop up with my slideshow. Here we go. Back to normal. My computer's glitching a little, recording the screen at the same time. So what I've accomplished is getting rid of that horizontal scroll bar, which you could see would normally be necessary because this content does go well beyond the viewable area. Uh, and I've essentially accomplished my 100% page width slideshow. And if I maximize the window or minimize the window, it's giving me no struggles because the computer sees this website as being as wide as it was designed. Meaning if I go back to Muse, it's as wide as my guides say it is. It's not as wide as this banner is. So the scroll motion is kind of a trick. It tricks the browser into ignoring this as content and rather just thinking, it, thinking of it as a, sort of a, a decorative element that happens to be really, really wide rather than content that must be scrolled through and explored. So try it out. Create wide, wide slideshows and use scroll motion to get the browser to ignore how wide they are. And they just simply bleed off of the edge of the browser.
it works great let me know what you guys think and if you enjoy this video please subscribe i have more tricks like this coming soon